Korea. I head up uh, customer service parts and the warehousing for Africa and South Africa Echo. Currently, the facility we're in is uh, six and a half thousand, just under six and a half thousand square meters. We are holding at this current moment just over 56,000 lines in the warehouse, which equates to around just over 100 million rand worth of stock. It's around 600,000 individual items within the warehouse. Our input at the moment is around three and a half, four thousand lines per month, with an average output of between seven to eight thousand lines at the moment. So we receive from our five main locations on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Inuri France, Chicago, Batavia, Brazil, Jindai, Shengzhou, China and India. With the airport being in close proximity to us, five minutes away, and all the couriers within 10 to 15 minutes away from us, it made logical sense to put us here. We are able to service most needs as quick as possible due to our location. So we receive air freight daily of around five to 500 kilos. Once the order comes through the systems and it is dropped into the outbound section of the warehouse, the pick ticket is dropped and we're able to see if there are small items, large items, medium items, and what's required to pick those. Uh, within this facility, we have the high reach and the forklifts available for the heavier items. And therefore the system will automatically tell the, the pickers what they need to use to pick the parts. If it's the heavy items, obviously, then we require the forklifts to do the heavy work. And uh, obviously the smaller items is manually picked by the picker themselves. So once the, the inbound parts come through this, this section here and they're inbounded into the system, they then go into the section behind me. From here, it will tell the, the system will tell the people where to put the parts within the warehouse. Uh, larger items obviously go into our bulk areas. Uh, we have the benin for the medium sized and then we have the mezzanine, which is our smaller parts. Once orders are, pr are picked by the picker, they then bring it through to the outbound section. Uh, there's three checks that are then carried out with the outbound section. The picker has to sign it off. We have security in-house that signs it off. And then the picker, the outbound supervisor will also then sign it off. The parts are then processed into the boxes and taped up and made ready for the outbound supervisor to then process further. He then uh, allocates a case number and picking documents to that case, which then get handed over to DSV, who are on site, who ship with us daily. Along with our third party logistics supplier and our systems, they're all integrated. With this integration, the system is able to track and monitor everything within the facility, inbound and outbound. And then this system also processes all the orders going through. With the integration between the systems, this assists us in greatly reducing the time it's taken to process orders into the warehouse and out of the warehouse. Um, the dealer network within the South African borders and into Africa have access to the ECHO systems online. They are able to place their orders online. This then interfaces with the ECHO system and the 3PL, your third party logistics supplier, which are based in the warehouse. And therefore it reduces the time of orders processing by at least 40-50%. We're able to have those into our systems as quick as possible, which is, then helps us get them out as quick as possible. The reason for all these processes is so that it shows that we are transparent, we're able to track everything that's in, inbound and outbound, and be able to provide these to the dealers as quick as possible in the shortest amount of time. This is in order to get the, tra the tractor, the machine, as up and running as quick as possible, so there's no delays for anyone. Demand planning is basically based on seasonal productivity into and out of this facility. And obviously that ties in with the country that you're in. So with South Africa, we work seasonality and that helps us then determine what parts are mainly needed and during what times. What's nice about us being in this location, servicing South Africa and Africa, our demand is constant. So we never really have that dip and high that no other companies would see. We are constantly having to keep our demand full due to the fact we're in South Africa and Africa. Okay, the staff complement that we currently have in this facility, uh, some of them have been here as long as the facility. Uh, we have three or four gents that have been here uh, plus minus eight plus ten years um, and this greatly aids us in, in offering a brilliant service because they've been here so long they know the processes and they know what's what's ECHO all about. They know how, the, how we would like it, things to happen in the warehouse. We offer the staff uh, constant training. We also uh, offer them mentorship. 
We look after them in the sense of during this COVID time, we offered full PPE uh, transport services to them. We do what we can to ensure that our staff are happy. If the staff are happy within the warehouse, they're going to do an excellent job in ensuring that we are able to service the dealer, the farmer, the best we can. I believe that the service we offer out of this facility is excellent. Uh, we offer a transparent, easy and efficient service out there to our dealers and distributors. It makes uh, the whole process a lot easier for all and at the end of the day our dealer distributors are pleasantly surprised with the great service that they receive from us. So at ACO we are striving to get closer to our customers. We want to ensure we are there for the dealers and the distributors and our farmers at the end of the day. We want to try and eliminate their downtime to ensure that they are able to operate at the best of their capabilities.